In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5 in Visual Studio Code. Uh, what I've got is a simple trivial test um, that, you know, uses before, before classes, and ignore. So I'm going to make, make this thing test. Show you that it works. And I've got, before the entire test suite running, I've got two tests that run, which these printouts prove they work, and one of my tests fails with an error. And that error I give right here. So I want to demonstrate how to convert this over into, into um, Jane at 5. So I need to go to my palm file. In my palm file, I need to make some changes. First off, I need to delete the JUnit 4 stuff. Now, once you save, um, Visual Studio Code may ask you to update. Just click Always if it does. I now need to go get the right dependencies, so I'm going to expand my Maven, hit plus for dependencies here, and you want to search for JUnit Jupyter. And you want the ones from JUnit itself. So you scroll down. I want JUnit Jupiter. I'm going to do it again. So I have JUnit Jupiter. And I also need the params. Please make sure you get the ones from org.jupyter. You know that those are the correct ones. The other ones are probably fine, uh, but I like to stick with the, the source. I'll do it again. Jupyter. And I need the engine. So I've got Engine, params, and Jupiter itself. Now, your app test is now very angry at you, for good reason, because none of this stuff is valid anymore. Get rid of those JU4 imports. Import all your assertions. This should be all that you need. Now, again, we have errors all the way down. JUnit 5 completely changed the annotations and completely changed some of the asserts. So let's go from the top down. Before class. No longer is before class. Now that's before all. Before is a little more understandable now. It's now before each. Likewise, the afters become after all and after each. Ignore is not ignore. It's now disabled. Assert true is stick the same, but assert equals, they moved. And the reason they changed assert equals is the modern test suggestions is to name your tests really well as to what they're doing and you don't need the message. But if you have some older tests and want to stick with messages, what occurs is it moves to the ends. So expected, comma, actual, assert demo fails at the ends. Okay, so it compiles. Let's see if it runs. Beautiful. Where'd it go? So my responses came back exactly as expected before. The error is a little bit easier to look at. And this is why you don't necessarily need the message because I named my function cert demo. I don't even think it's displayed. Um, so you now know how to convert Visual Studio code to use JUnit 5 instead of JUnit 4. 
All right, thanks. Good luck to you.